Oliver Berkman, 4,000 Weeks, Time Management for Mortals. Embark on a journey to explore the elusive concept of time in Oliver Berkman's insightful book, 4,000 Weeks, Time Management for Mortals. Delve deep and challenge conventional notions of productivity and time management, as the author dismantles the illusion of mastering time. Gain a fresh perspective towards embracing the limitations imposed by our finite existence, and discover how to focus on what truly matters. Allow your thoughts on capitalism, work-life balance, and the modern time-centric mindset to be reshaped, and reconnect with your priorities as you navigate through this profound work. Embracing Time Mastery Paradox the pursuit of ultimate productivity in time mastery in a capitalistic society can leave us feeling anxious, drained, and unfulfilled. By accepting the reality that we'll never master our time, we can redirect our efforts towards what truly matters and significantly improve our quality of life. For ages, the allure of wealth has promised freedom from work, but in recent times, the concept of the hustle has made busyness a coveted lifestyle. Ironically, research has shown that the wealthier we become, the more anxious we are about not having enough time. Capitalism fuels this mentality, encouraging the constant leveraging of time, skills, and resources for maximum profits. While wealth accumulation may lead some to success, it often comes at the price of a meaningful life. Moreover, the gig economy has burdened less fortunate individuals with multiple jobs and financial instability. This collective obsession with productivity serves as a critical wake-up call demanding closer inspection of our desires. One author's journey to optimize time management skills sheds light on the elusive time mastery dream. Despite investing in expensive notepads, intricate scheduling, and top priority setting schemes, he continued to feel overwhelmed. His most efficient tasks were often trivial, such as promptly answering emails. In contrast, Projects dear to his heart, like researching a significant piece, languished unattended. This experience illuminated the paradox of limitation, our attempts to control time only increase frustration and emptiness. Acknowledging the impossibility of time mastery paves the way for recognizing what's truly important. In this author's life, relinquishing control and embracing the unknown liberated him to commit fully to a loving relationship and start a family. Altering our relationship with time transforms our overall well-being, allowing us to focus on what genuinely matters in life and let go of what doesn't. Modern Time Management Obsession In early medieval England, concerns over time were practically non-existent as people's lives revolved around natural cycles and eternity. Our preoccupation with time management is a modern phenomenon, shaped by secular modernism and the invention of mechanical clocks. Shifts in perception of time and progress, the focus on utility in earthly life, and industrial practices have all contributed to our present-day time-related anxieties. During the days of early medieval England, peasants faced numerous challenges such as prevailing diseases, religious payments, and arduous labor. However, they didn't struggle with one significant stressor, time management. As farmers followed the rhythm of the sun, waking and retiring with its rise and fall, Tasks were performed as the need arose, and the concept of time was loosely defined based on religious references. Modern obsessions with work-life balance would have felt inconsequential in that era. In fact, our preoccupation with time is deeply rooted in our contemporary understanding of it. Pre-modern people never felt rushed because they didn't perceive the limitations of their earthly lives, focusing instead on the eternal aspect of their existence. Historical cycles were seen as repetitive, and individuals' accomplishments during their lifetimes were often deemed negligible in the grand scheme of things. The shift towards a more secular worldview significantly altered the way time was perceived. With skepticism about an afterlife and the decline of religious centrality in everyday life, people began to prioritize making the most of their finite time. Society embraced the idea of linear progress believing history was heading towards an idealized future rather than oscillating between repetitive stages. Another critical catalyst in our evolving relationship with time is the development of mechanical clocks. 
Originally invented to regulate monks' prayer routines before sunrise, clocks took on pivotal importance during the emergence of industrial labor. Prior to this period, people were compensated for their work based on nebulous terms such as, a day's work. But with the onset of the Industrial Revolution, employers shifted the paradigm, paying workers by the hour to maximize profit. This change transformed time from a vague concept to a measurable resource, something to be utilized effectively for the purpose of productivity. Consequently, our modernity has spawned a unique preoccupation with time management, while the constraints and opportunities associated with it create anxieties that were once foreign to our ancestors. Embracing finitude. Confronting the limitations of our existence, as Martin Heidegger suggests, can lead to a more authentic and fulfilling life. By recognizing our time on earth as finite, we can make meaningful choices that reflect our values and priorities. Viewing our lives through the lens of finitude does not have to be morbid or defeating, instead, it highlights the beauty of having any time at all and encourages us to seize the opportunities that matter most to us. Our human existence is irrevocably intertwined with time, as German philosopher Martin Heidegger explains in his masterpiece, Being and Time. Our lives are defined by the limited time we have on this planet. Regrettably, many people tend to avoid or deny this reality through distractions or by following a prescribed path in life, thus falling into inauthentic ways of living. To lead an authentic life, Heidegger suggests that we confront our limitations head-on. Rather than seeing our finite time as a morose thought, we should view it as an opportunity to cherish and cultivate a fulfilling life. For instance, Swedish philosopher Martin Haglund relishes his yearly family vacations on Sweden's Baltic coast because he understands their inherent temporariness. He appreciates these experiences all the more because they will not last forever. Facing our finitude does not mean constantly worrying about the end, but rather recognizing the remarkable value of having any time at all. Canadian writer David Kane had this realization after escaping a mass shooting by mere weeks. This event demonstrated that there is no cosmic law ensuring his survival, making every moment he experiences all the more precious. According to Heidegger, embracing our finitude involves making conscious choices with our time and recognizing that every choice requires sacrifice. This perspective allows us to focus on what truly matters, whether it's supporting our families, witnessing a beautiful sunset, or writing a novel. Embracing the limitations of our existence enables us to live with purpose, authenticity, and gratitude for the time we have. Mastering Procrastination With Heidegger's philosophy in mind, we can harness the power of procrastination by focusing on what matters most and setting limits. By paying ourselves with time first, limiting our works in progress, and avoiding second-tier priorities, we enhance our ability to become better procrastinators. Philosophers like Heidegger discuss finitude, emphasizing that deciding what not to spend time on is essential. Using this concept, we can transform our perspective on procrastination. Instead of resisting it, we can learn to be better procrastinators by focusing on what matters most. To harness the power of procrastination effectively, we must prioritize our limited goals. Begin by allocating time for crucial tasks, be it a creative endeavor or nurturing a significant relationship. Don't wait for free time, create space in your schedule by dedicating a specific hour each day or marking it in your calendar. Next, restrict your works in progress. It's tempting to juggle multiple projects, but doing so leads to a scattered effort that only delays completion. As you jump between tasks when boredom or difficulty strikes, crucial projects suffer. Focusing on one project at a time allows you to break it down into manageable portions, accomplishing a few tasks daily while progressing towards your goal. Lastly, resist second-tier priorities. We cannot accomplish everything, sacrifices must be made. Assess your priorities and discard any that don't align with your top 5 life goals. By saying no to less important activities or relationships, you free up time and energy to focus on what truly matters. Transforming the way we approach procrastination enables us to prioritize essential goals and effectively manage our limited time. By paying ourselves first with time, limiting ongoing projects, 
and steering clear of second-tier priorities, we can achieve a balanced, fulfilling life. Beyond Distractions Distractions define our reality and while some are necessary for survival, achieving our goals requires focus. Technology companies profit from capturing our attention and selling our data, but they also manipulate our perceptions and actions. Our tendency to become distracted is not solely caused by technology, engaging in meaningful work can cause discomfort due to our limitations. By acknowledging this discomfort, we can work through our resistance instead of succumbing to distractions. Life's unexpected twists and turns inevitably chip away at our attention, leaving us less time to achieve our goals. Since ancient Greece, philosophers have contemplated the human inclination towards distraction and its impact on our reality. Understanding the relationship between attention and distractions will allow you to unlock your true potential. While gaining complete control over your attention is impossible and undesirable, mastering focus is essential for achieving meaningful goals. Involuntary attention safeguards our survival, for instance, it allows you to quickly dodge an approaching bus. In contrast, mastering focus allows you to invest the necessary attention in realizing your dreams. Nowadays, digital distractions reign supreme. Technology companies not only consume our attention and sell our data to marketers, but they also exploit us through persuasive design, which keeps us hooked on screens. However, the real danger lies in social media's capability to distort our perceptions of reality. Influenced by technology, our understanding of what's important, feasible threats, and even our political adversaries is skewed. This affects our offline actions as well. For example, the author's obsession with Twitter began to infiltrate his thoughts even after logging off, causing him to miss precious moments with his newborn child. However, it's not just technology that makes us vulnerable to distractions. Engaging in meaningful work often causes discomfort. Ironic as it may seem, tasks we enjoy can make us uneasy. For instance, if you were to compose a book in a secluded cabin, you might still find it challenging to focus solely on your writing. The resulting boredom may prompt avoidance behaviors, such as napping or daydreaming. This discomfort arises because engaging in meaningful work requires confronting our limitations. In doing so, we may discover that we lack the aptitude required for the task. To escape these harsh realities, we often fall victim to distractions. By recognizing and accepting this dilemma, we can confront our discomfort head-on instead of yielding to every fleeting impulse. A proactive approach towards managing distractions paves the way for a more purposeful journey towards your goals. Embrace the present moment. We often find ourselves consumed by planning every little detail or dreaming of a better future. The key to truly living is to embrace the present moment, as ultimately, it's all that truly exists. While many aspects of life may be out of our control, Focusing on the present allows us to appreciate the simple beauty life has to offer. Douglas Hofstadter, a cognitive scientist, coined the term Hofstadter's Law in reference to the idea that tasks always seem to take longer than expected, even when attempting to account for this. This phenomenon highlights the reality that life is often unpredictable, and our best laid plans can still fail. In the pursuit of control, many schedule their time meticulously, hoping to avoid chaos. However, doing so often leads to an obsession with planning and living for the future, rather than embracing the present. This constant chase for a perfect future is a mindset referred to as, when I finally. People with this outlook believe that once they achieve a specific goal or milestone, their life will finally begin. However, this way of thinking can lead to a perpetual state of dissatisfaction and unhappiness. While it's understandable for someone struggling to make ends meet to dream of a better situation, most of us would benefit from focusing on the present moment. The concept of living in the present moment is exemplified in Robert Persig's book, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Persig shares a personal anecdote of visiting the renowned Crater Lake in Oregon. As he stood before the breathtaking scenery, he felt disconnected from the moment, as the awe-inspiring beauty of the location was overshadowed by its status as a popular tourist attraction. 
This example demonstrates how the present moment can often be obscured by external expectations and distractions. To truly embrace the present, one must acknowledge that it's the only thing that genuinely exists. Instead of trying to master living in the now, accept that you're always in the present moment, no matter the circumstances. By refocusing your mindset and letting go of the need for control, you allow yourself to experience the wonders and joys that come from simply being present in life. So, whether you're admiring nature, spending time with loved ones, or simply enjoying a quiet moment, remember to appreciate the beauty of the here and now. Redefining Leisure and Happiness Embrace leisure without the pressure of productivity by indulging in hobbies and spending quality time with loved ones. Both have intrinsic value, and can lead to a more fulfilled and content life. Walter Kerr's 1962 book, The Decline of Pleasure, highlights our growing inclination to utilize every moment of our free time for productive purposes, propelled by the remnants of the Industrial Revolution mindset. Factory owners promoted the idea of using time off to increase productivity at work, which was ironically exacerbated by labor reformers and union leaders who believed in workers utilizing their free time for self-improvement. This culture persists even today, and there is urgency in redefining our perspective on leisure for its own sake. One way to do so is through hobbies, which can be enriching and enjoyable without any pressure to perform or excel. Engaging in a hobby simply for the pleasure it brings can be liberating. British rock star Rod Stewart found pleasure in a purposeless project, building a model railway of a 1940s American urban landscape. Stewart wasn't aiming for profit or personal branding, he found joy in the experience itself. Another significant aspect of leisure is spending time with family and friends. A Swedish study showed that antidepressant sales dropped significantly when more people took holidays, indicating individuals were happiest when they were able to share leisure time with others. This is an essential factor to consider for the growing digital nomad population, who work remotely from exotic locations. Although such freedom might seem enticing, many discover that traveling alone can become a lonely experience. To truly reap the benefits of leisure time, indulge in hobbies and prioritize spending time with those close to you. Initiating these practices can lead to a more meaningful, fulfilling life that defies the productivity-driven mindset prevalent in our society today. Embrace Cosmic Insignificance While questioning one's life purpose is normal, it can sometimes hinder the journey to personal fulfillment. Instead of striving to find a grandiose life purpose, practice cosmic insignificance therapy, recognizing that our individual lives hold no significant meaning from a universal perspective. This enlightening acknowledgement liberates one from self-imposed expectations, allowing them to appreciate and find meaning in simple aspects of their life without being burdened by comparisons to societal standards or great achievers. In doing so, people can better embrace goals, careers, and moments that align with their true desires, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling life. Confronting doubts about the path one is on can be an unnerving experience, but it is an essential step towards leading a truly fulfilling life. Time management guides often prompt people to evaluate their life purpose. However, the stress of finding this lofty life purpose can sometimes overshadow the genuine enjoyment and satisfaction found in simpler, everyday experiences. With the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, many were encouraged to reevaluate what truly matters in life. Unfortunately, the idea of determining our life's purpose can lead to overwhelming comparisons to notable figures, such as Mozart or Albert Einstein. Aiming to achieve at their level can make some people feel as if they are incapable of having a meaningful existence. However, the notion of cosmic insignificance therapy provides people with an enlightening perspective, that, in the cosmic grand scheme, our lives are truly insignificant. Although this idea might initially seem daunting, it bears a liberating truth that everyday acts can be just as meaningful as our grand aspirations. By accepting our cosmic insignificance, we can shed the weight of self-imposed expectations and focus on what genuinely matters to us, such as spending time with loved ones or pursuing a passion project. In this way, we free ourselves from competing with cosmic standards, enabling us to embrace the goals, 
careers, and moments that align with our true desires, and ultimately, live a more satisfying life. In conclusion, For Thousand Weeks reminds us that the quest to master time is futile, and instead, we should appreciate the finitude of our lives, shifting focus towards what truly matters. The book challenges our ideas around time, capitalism, and work, urging us to reconsider our priorities. From Heidegger's emphasis on facing our limitations to learning the art of better procrastination and embracing the present moment, this book illuminates a path to building a more fulfilling life. So, take a step back, breathe, and rethink the way you approach your own 4,000 weeks, focusing on the activities and relationships that genuinely enrich your existence.